Hi, it's Peter from Brewbetter. Welcome to this video about the single SSR PID circuit, which I owed the community for a good while now. So you have your XMT7100 uh, PID or an equivalent one, where terminal 4 and 5 you have an alarm relay to switch mains voltage up to I think 3 amps and you modify it so you physically desolder bypass that relay so you will have a 12 volt DC output on the alarm terminals. So you obviously have your SSR, it's a DA SSR so direct current is applied to for control and it switches AC. The first thing to do is to hook up the plus 12 volt DC from both uh, terminal 10 which is the SSR so the brew uh, temperature signal and also from terminal 4 on the PID which is uh, the alarm output uh, plus 12, 12 volt DC these both should be connected to terminal 3 on the SSR where it is expecting the 12 volt DC positive and then uh, we are going to connect uh, the negative 12 volt DC to the steam switch on the machine so on the left bottom corner you see the switch from rear view so orientations from now gonna be from rear view terminal 9 which is a minus 12 volt dc signal of the ssr so the brew temperature should be connected to the bottom right tab of the steam switch meanwhile terminal 5 so the alarm output uh, negative 12 volt dc should be connected to the top left tab of the steam switch and then the middle tabs of the steam switch should be connected to SSR terminal 4 where it is looking for negative 12 volt DC the original wires from the steam switch on a version 1 classic the two wires from the right side of the steam switch should be connected together this is uh, for the solenoid valve if you're not connecting these you will never have water through the group head However, if you connect them continuously, you will always have your group head open whenever you operate the pump. So even in steam mode, you will have uh, water through the group head if you turn on the pump. Wires from the left column of the steam switch should be just ignored, those not used. And now we will have to connect the SSR to the boiler. You have two wires of the brew thermostat and also two wires of the steam thermostat. We are going to connect one of each to terminal 1 and 2 on the SSR. On version 1 it is really simple and easy because uh, out of the four wires you have two identical color that's normally a white one don't quote me on that and uh, this color is also matching one of the wires of the steam switch left column. Actually this piece uh, a free-ended wire this could either be removed from the machine because we're not using that anymore but the other wire from the brew thermostat and the other wire from the steam thermostat should be connected to the SSR. The other option is if you can't find which wire to connect you can simply just go by trial and error or if you have a multimeter uh, whenever you turn on the machine uh, you will only see mains voltage between one combination of these I mean if you pick one from the brew and one from the steam thermostats and those two wires what we are looking for. It is slightly different uh, on a classic Pro or Evo. Again the switches at the bottom are from rear view so the right column of the steam switch should look like this. So the top tab should be connected to PID terminal 5, the bottom tab to PID terminal 9 and the center tab should lead to SSR terminal 4. Again the same with the brew and steam thermostat wires. Color coding won't help you there so it's gonna be trial and error or if you have a multimeter you should look for a mains voltage between two of the wires from different studs and we should connect those to the SSR. The original wires of the steam switch on a classic Pro or Evo should be left disconnected. On European models this would cause the machine not realizing you turned to steam mode so if you did not uh, bypass the auto shut off feature the machine will shut off regardless you have turned it to steam mode in the last 20 minutes 
so it won't notice that. On uh, rest of the world models, or if you have bypassed already the, the auto shut off feature, that it won't make any difference in the behavior of the machine. And that's it. I hope it makes sense. Good luck with the modification and happy brewing.